What's up guys, I'm back with another video for you today. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Netflix series House of Flowers. This is something I haven't done a lot before. I never reviewed series on Netflix, but there's just so many coming out this year. They're really doing their thing and they're actually adopting other languages, um, other series in French and Spanish. I think a couple in Portuguese are going to come out later. Also, African documentaries are coming out. I hope they do a couple series too. So anyway, let's get into House of Flowers. So House of Flowers, translated from Spanish, is basically about this family in Mexico who owned this huge flower company and you know they seem like the perfect family but they are filled with secrets. I'm not going to spoil it but basically I'm going to give you guys a premise. The middle child, the daughter, comes back with her fiance who no the family does not know <laughs> is the fiance and basically it's for their her parents anniversary party. Basically she gets back. Her older sister is the one in charge of the company and right now they're in a bind with finances and then you know the mother she's kind of like the head of the ha of the matriarch of the family she's basically putting up a front making sure everyone thinks that they're perfect have the perfect image then you have the son who is secretly gay who has a girlfriend and basically the girl gets cuckoo and kind of obsessed with like being in the family and then you have the um family secretary slash accountant I think I don't know and then you have the dad who has his own secrets of his own because honestly you you, you just whoo I'm gonna get into that later so basically you find out all the secrets basically what you revealed it in the trailers that the dad had an affair the mistress committed suicide in the flower shop and you find out he has a child with this woman and she's been a, his secret and his mistress for the last 15 13 to 15 years I think it's crazy but it's about 13 episodes and honestly the drama just builds up more and more with each episode with the characters I like how you kind of get like a deeper dive with each one with every episode as the story progresses, we see you know how these people have been living under you know the supposed image that they painted outside their home and in their and basically inside their house you have you know everyone's going through something everyone's hiding a secret from everybody so it's just a lot of a lot of secrets in a house of flowers i feel like it should be called a house of secrets honestly <laughs> but yeah i really like this show um one of the girls that is um the dot one of the daughters she's actually going to be in miss bala with gina rodriguez later this year that comes out in february it's really cool. I definitely recommend you go watch it. Um, they have an English translation, but the voices are kind of like really weird. Um, I would suggest that rather than just do English subtitles with the Spanish. Unless you want to learn some Spanish, you know, that can be real helpful too. But anyway, that's kind of my little short review of House of Flowers. I think they're coming back for a season two next year. If you want to watch season one on Netflix, go ahead and watch it. It's getting really good reviews. And I will see you guys later for another Netflix review. Have a great week. Bye.